The Experiment from Another Planet, a film essay from the book of What the Fuck Am I Reading by Joe Finsterness. Paul was not merely a fan of the purple dinosaur. He also enjoyed other viewable media. His favorite childhood film was Lilo Plus Stitch. Paul resides in a different universe. This film was not produced by the frozen corpse of a corrupt businessman. It was independently created by Rogero Diodato. It is meant to be a commentary on the potential cruelty of those that were born in the black void that gapes behind the stars. If you wish to hear my humble opinion, his, cellu his celluloid vision is an unsettlingly accurate depiction of alien behavior. During the final act of the film, Bubbles pulls out his firearm and blasts half of the blue koala's face off. The blue koala is not yet deceased, neither in the film nor in real life. Pan is not pleased at all. The monster then proceeds to fall to the ground, however. It is behaving in a similar manner to a spider, laying in wait and still for its prey to come near. It gains the opportunity to bite off Bubbles' head. Diodato was in big trouble for having the actor decapitated on screen. He died in prison. The blue koala was indifferent to all this because it enjoyed chewing on the actor's brains. The film ends with the camera focusing on Nani. She is cradling Lilo's mangled, lifeless body in her arms. She is begging God to wake her up from this nightmare. Happy endings such as this are what I love about the cinema. Do not question the well-being of the sweet young actress playing Lilo. You may pretend that she was pretending. Her soul resides in the kingdom of heaven and she is utterly content. And we do so adore Rogero Diodato down here, sometimes multiple times a day.